It goes up and right out of the air. Hmm? All right. I got one more bird I want to show for you. Go ahead and go back. I have one more bird I want to show. And this bird is really very special to me. It's the reason I'm standing in front of you. It's the reason that I spend 500 hours a year as a volunteer doing this. I'm not an employee of Last Chance Forever. I've been a volunteer for about 30 years. Last Chance Forever has been doing this for 40 years. That's why this is important. I grew up in Minnesota, in rural Minnesota, the land of 10,000 lakes. And when I was a kid, I looked to the skies for the birds that I should have seen. I should have seen prairie falcons, and I should have seen hawks, and I should have seen eagles. The land of 10,000 lakes, there should have been 20,000 eagles at least. But I wasn't seeing any. I also wasn't seeing the fox, I wasn't seeing a lot of things that I should have been seeing. Now, I was told I had to be patient. You know, I'm five years old, eight years old. Be patient. And I took that to heart. I tried to be patient, but it turns out patience wasn't my problem. My problem was those birds weren't there. We almost lost them. All of them. That's why we call this last chance forever, because for some of these, for us, this is our last chance. What had happened was we had fought World War II, and Europe was in chaos. And we were the breadbasket of the world. And we needed to up our yields to feed the rest of the world. And we did. We did it with something called DDTs. DDTs is very effective at killing bugs. We thought it was going to break down in the system. But we didn't know about bioaccumulation. Bioaccumulation is what happens when the mouse eats the seed, or the grasshopper eats the seed, and the mouse eats the grasshopper, and the hawk eats the mouse over and over again. And the poisons stay in the body. And in this case, falconers were the first ones who noticed the populations were declining. They went out and they looked in the nests and they found broken eggs. The eggshells were thin. The DDT was making them unable to reproduce. They indicated to us something very important. Poison us, you're poisoning yourself. And so we got smart. We stopped using DDT. We found other ways. And Amazingly, those populations bounded back. Although in the 70s I was searching the skies for them, I couldn't see them. When I moved down here, it was 2005. I was standing on the bridge on the Mississippi River between Minneapolis and St. Paul, and I saw not one, but two of these fly overhead, an adult and a juvenile. This is an American bald eagle. The white head and the white tail tell us this bird is at least five years old. They usually get that between five and seven. Before that, you're going to see a large brown bird. You easily mistake it for a big hawk, but it's often a juvenile bald eagle. Most, about 50% of birds of prey don't make it out of their first year. That's just nature. So the fact that he's lived five years, seven years, means he's an adult, he's ready to take a mate, and they mate for life. They will build a nest up to a ton in a tree and they'll return to it year after year after year. And I can happily say these birds, this species, is doing very, very well now because we wanted them to come back. But we need to make sure that we make room for all of the animals because they all have a place in our environment to do things for us and take care of the world. He's a big bird and a lot of people regard them with fear and I just really wish they wouldn't. But we have brought this bird to you through the art of falconry. What began as an art of survival, it became a sport of kings, is now used as part of the science of rehabilitating birds of prey and getting them back out in the wild. And now your children, you can see these birds. You should be able to look into your own skies on your own lakes and see these birds again. And you have no idea what it was like to know that they're not there. So we are last chance forever. We're located in San Antonio, Texas. You can look us up on the web, and I hope if we gain your support, you'll give us that support in the future. But right now, we got, we got somebody else coming on. I want to give you a chance to take a good look at this bird, take some pictures, ask any questions you've got. It probably can take maybe five minutes. That's okay. All right. But thank you very much, everybody.